How's it going, everyone? Little hiccup. Forgot to add the game to the scene. That's okay. Damiani here. We're going to play some uh, Final Fantasy XIV today. Give me just one uh, second. Thank you for the resub. Seven months in a row. Uh, Beliasa, thank you. Very jolly. I know you're hearing clicking and stuff. It's not very professional. I apologize. I gotta get a... I need to get a mute button. So, there is a mute button on the... Uh, on the microphone. But microphone's on a crane now. And the mute button is kind of covered by the pop filter. So, I used to be able to do that. Uh, the old setup, it was really easy to hit the mute button. Now, not so much. I need, like, a, a hotkey... Actually I, actually, I can just do that. I'm stupid. Wow. Uh, Xplit does let you hotkey to mute the, the mic audio source. So, uh, I'm just a bad at, uh, at Xplit, apparently. Still still learning stuff, obviously. Uh, yeah, that uh, new intro graphic, courtesy of Chris, been helping us out with those, uh, those professional-looking stream graphics. Because uh, I'm terrible at actual graphic design. I, I can't do it. I, I can tell you what I want. I can I can tell you exactly what I want. Let's go to the game real quick here. Let's bring me up. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Uh, you can see some of the, the mic filter in the screen, in the shot. That wasn't there before. I'm, I must have knocked it. But yeah, I, I, I'm like absolutely terrible at graphic design. Uh, I'm better at explaining. I can, t as I just said, I can tell you what I want. I can tell you, I can show you other things I want. Actually making it, uh, it's like, drawing stick figures for me I, I can make that level of quality so i'm not i'm not that good with that stuff so uh yeah that uh that helps out a a tremendous amount doing that for us so thank you again um unfortunately 14 doesn't lend itself very well to stream layouts uh everything as you'll see here pretty much has to be on the screen you can't actually uh it would be bad news bears to basically, as you can see, trying to shrink this, uh, how I play like zoomed out like this, and if you want to give me a second, I will literally show you how it would look if we did like what we do with our other streams, like how bad, not, it's not bad, like the graphics look good, that's not what I mean to say, uh, how hard it would be to see stuff is the best way to put this. So check this out. So if I were to use, let's say, let's go with this one right here. Go with this, then do it right. I'm doing this off screen, by the way. And uh, game capture. Let's get that uh, set up right there. Jolly. Switch them. Add, uh, add that uh, webcam up there. Give me one sec. Add that uh, Logitech. A little big. A little big. Throw it down here. Um, I mean, I'll leave the camera up, but uh, here. This is how... Yeah, so it's already small enough as is. So if we were to do something like that, I, I'm not uh, not a fan of doing that with an uh, with 14's interface or 11. So we will we will stick with this, which gives you more to see. It's a little more zoomed in stuff. the The trick is throwing different like overlay graphics onto the 14 UI as well. UI is completely custom uh, customizable, so we could clearly move stuff around and make it look nice so still gotta work on that anyway you're not hearing the game i know that i'm sorry one sec yeah it's a bit small bit small i kept the game muted on purpose anyway we are here to check out the uh the seasonal event hatching tide which uh, starts in gridania so we're going to head on over and do this. But, uh, sorry, I talked a lot. How are you all doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, while we're doing this, I forgot to mention, 
that my email is reloading for some reason. How jolly. Uh, there is a free login campaign going on for... Uh, if, if you've already played Final Fantasy XIV, you paid for a subscription, it's been more than 30 days since you paid for a subscription, you can come back now, we got this email, play up to 96 hours for free. Uh, it, start, it started and it ends on May 6th at 8 a.m. Pacific, well, 7.59 a.m. Pacific. Uh, and the conditions, it says right here, here are the specifics. Please note that players must have previously purchased and registered Final Fantasy XIV online, and their service account must have been inactive for at least 30 days in order to participate. Uh, after a free period's up, you need a subscription. So, yeah, if you've already bought Final Fantasy XIV or any of the expansions, and you've paid a sub fee at some point, and it's been more than 30 days since you played, you can come back for 96 hours and catch up and stuff like that. So, people always ask me how much does this cost and stuff. Well, right now, there you go. You could uh, pretty much do that. So, that is ongoing right now. So, very easy to get back in. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say before we start. Uh, the next live letter for Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, live letter. Producer live letter. Or it's called Producer Live Part something. Uh, what is that? Like, some large number. I'm really... I don't know why I'm... Like, I'm blanking on my Roman numerals right now. Uh, XL3. Well, 53, right? That's 53. XL3... XLIII is 53, right? Please tell me I'm right. I hate when I get Roman numerals wrong. Like, I used to, like sort of make fun of people got them wrong so i'm making fun of myself anyway that's been announced it's happening on april 14th uh it's still in japan time so i'll do reactions to that uh, that's a 2 30 a.m pacific on april 14th uh, they're not doing it at pax east which i thought they would be nice and do but nope no more japan time for us uh there's a lot of stuff they're gonna be announcing obviously new main story quest stuff let me bring this in front of me so i can look at the camera and say this new, new main story quest uh there'll be new squadron dungeons that will be added one new four person dungeon uh the new extreme primal well normal and extreme primal will be added uh a new ultimate boss so ultimate coil bahamut was the last one this is the thing that everyone watched on like twitch for like two weeks until someone cleared it uh it's basically like the highest level of play in the game uh like it was probably the most active twitch viewership had been for 14 was during that time uh the next one is happening uh, so they're gonna reveal what it is uh the or uh, supposedly there's a eureka update um the game it needs more updates the next return to ivalice raid the 24 person raid the the tactics stuff the final fantasy 12 stuff the next installment of that is coming. Uh, we'll get to see that. So that's pretty much the, the big stuff. Um, some other small quality of life changes. That'll be exciting to me and other 14 players. But as a new or maybe like a like a very low like casual player. As in like you don't really play that much. You just come for the story. Like I don't know if these will really interest you. Like cross world link shells. Maybe it does. Cross world FC stuff. Uh, and then there's like rumors that uh, there might be new frontline map discussed and or frontline stuff which would be actually good because it's the only pvp mode i care about and uh palace of the dead supposedly due for a uh an update of some sort uh at four at patch 4.35 so they might talk about that anyway that's upcoming as well i'll be doing reactions to that good stuff wanted to get that out there It's always hard to gauge how to see chat with this stupid crane in my face. I gotta just move it to the other side. Oh, and if you ever miss any of these events anymore, this stuff always goes up on the Mog Cash Shop one year after. So uh, last uh, last uh, year's event uh, rewards for this event are now available in the Mog Shop. And with that, let's begin Hatching Tide 2018. Starts at Maketo's Amphitheater in New Gridania. Or Old Gridania, sorry. Papaya Song. Let it soak in. 
This is an ex extremely popular Final Fantasy XIV song. Um, frequently seen on a lot of uh, top 10 Final Fantasy XIV list. Uh, usually top 3. It's usually in the top 3. Um, like, people in the 14 community, it, this is a... We are dead serious about this song. Like, it is top tier. You do not disrespect this song. Otherwise, uh, you will feel the wrath of the 14 community. I kind of wanted to, like... I guess I got to zoom in to see this nicely. Stupid little tarp. Little egg design there. So jolly. You want it louder? Here, get ready for it. I'm going to crank this up. Here's your papaya music. Give it a sec. This is the jolly piano part. It'll get to the good part. Like, this part's really good, but, like, the main chorus. Here we go. This part. Still low? Wow, what's going on here? It's like actually low on my end. How's that? Turned it up and that better. So yes, you do not disrespect this song. This is a top tier pro Final Fantasy XIV song. It's up there with the greats like Answers, uh, Dragon Song, Titan EX's last uh, phase, Leviathan, Locust, like, you name the great songs of Final Fantasy XIV and Papaya is always up there. Absolutely. So, uh, let's go. Unacceptable losses. And I'm going to get a minion, Motley Egg. Nanada needs your assistance in solving a hatching tide hiccup. Oh, jolly text. You do remember how it all works, don't you? I liked when we had to chase around eggs around this zone. That was the best thing. Disaster has struck. If I must. That's uh, for the alt playthrough. A talented tracker. Sure. And the quest begins. So that's over by uh, the botany area. So we'll take a little warp on the Aethernet network. We're gonna go over to the Botanist Guild. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. VDB. 19 months. Jolly music here. Let's uh, get the camera zoomed in. No need to be so zoomed out for this. That is the hat from a previous event of this. Cutscene height! This person is really takes their eggs seriously. Oh, it's another Aleppo. Hey! You're also in Final Fantasy XI, your, your relatives. Okay. Thrice Damned Wildwoods. I like that. Can never mention this to a living soul. That I'm wearing this silly egghead. All these giant eggs just laying around. Search for traces of the egg thief. 
And this is where I do zoom out so you can actually see everything. So we're usually looking for little glowy, sparkly things to interact with. So, not this though, that's the Ethernet shard. So like that, right there. Broken crate. This, uh, you know what Cardania reminds me of a little bit? It reminds me of Orden Village in Twilight Princess. Like, Orden Village should have been this detailed. Like, Twilight Princess HD should have been a remake. Orden Village should have looked at this good. Oh, changed the zone radius. So we gotta go to another area. I see it already. The shiny stone splinter. What you got for me? Might have something to do with the egg thief. Gonna make me run really far, huh? Oh, I do need to show you something real quick. After this. Ooh! Trampled ground. That's very suspect. It's not like anyone ever walks across this ground. Passing through this area. Oh no! You know, how many people have passed through here? Uh, check this out real quick. I wanna show you, uh... They added more Dragon Ball to this, which makes me super jolly. Yeah, look at that going Super Saiyan right there. So jolly. I found some promising clues, including a spot where people commonly walk across. It looks like they walked across it. Okay, so only two of these are really clues. That's good. Hmm, very shady. Very shady chat. I don't, I don't know what Ultra Instinct is yet. I'm not that far. I am I am at the part in Dragon Ball where they're on f getting ready for phase three of the Badabi. Like, uh, the, the mage dude who's trying to revive Majin Buu. Uh, they're waiting to fight, uh, was it, Daraba, whatever his name is. Meanwhile, back at the Tenkaichi tournament, they're having a battle royale! <laughs> like, battle royale. I was like, okay, this is why, why did they wait so long to do a battle royale in, in Dragon Ball? And, uh, it's, it's Android 18 versus, uh, Gohan and, uh, tr little kid trunks. Or, not Gohan, uh, uh Goten, it's little kid Goten and the uh, little kid Trunks versus uh, Android 18, which is hilarious. But anyway, uh, I'm not digging this uh, arc so far. It's a little, uh, it's a little weak. I'll say that it hasn't quite hooked me yet. Also, I'm I'm really surprised how this uh, Kaioshin, Kaioshin, who's like higher than all the other Kaios, is just like. Why well, I'm so surprised that Goku and them are so strong. I'm like, what? H haven't you listened? Nah, it's just weird. Oh no, is the Spriggan dead? You killed it? You killed the little things from, uh, from Spirited Away? Why would you do that? You have the wrong Spriggan. This was my pet. How dare you kill <laughs> This is my friend. You've killed my friend. Ah, but you're a healer. Conjurer, we'll save the day. Happy ending. No death for the Spriggan. Look at it, it's just a little jolly creature and you shot it with an arrow. That's so... This honorable and forthright soul pursued his brethren into their very lair and escaped with one of the stolen treasures. 
Yo, it's an agent. You a double agent? Mmm, I see. We're gonna need a Lalafell for this. Yo, what does the dialogue say if you're a Lalafell during this point? Because a Lalafell would be smaller than that. A Link Pearl. Yo, am I gonna control this? Is this gonna be like... This is gonna be like Metal Gear Solid Revengeance when I uh, pilot one of the... The small robot things. I'm forgetting their name right now. Let's give him a chance. This is gonna be good. See, why can't Eureka be full of quests like this? Like oddball stuff like this. Instead of running around and AFKing for three hours while you wait for a notorious monster to spawn. The following controls can be used to navigate Egg Hunter Riggy. Move left. Move right. Jump. Double jump. There's a double jump in this game. Collect 15 or more eggs to win the game. Hitting obstacles or being struck by enemy attacks 